course there's room in my van. Vans, I might get something. I got well I got I got uh clothing to drop off anyway. Okay, nice. So like Yeah, like I only shop at Goodwill because I think clothing's like just kind of like window dressing for what I am. So I really I don't want to over advertise who I am, I guess, is my thought. <laughs> It's like I got these these people, you know, I go out and dress up in really nice clothes and then suddenly these people think I have money and I don't want them to think I have money. Yeah, I don't know. What's the workers got some stuff, but they're going out this. Is that your buddy? Is that your new buddy? You're already waiting for him? I just love watching her. I've got a close-up on her, so I don't really have you in the frame right now. Got your feet in the frame. Now I got you in the frame. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to stretch out the soreness. <laughs> I really should get her a pink sweater. I bought that because I was, like, arguing with my ex about having her wear green all the time. And I really should have just gotten a pink one because she always bought her green things. And really, you know, girls should wear pink. So yeah, this is the tough part, you know, like, I I gotta go back to work so I can pay for treatment, and it's two more weeks, and I really don't want to put her in a van for two more weeks and have that quality of life bit get brought down, so I don't know what to do, like, I could take one load one way, take a couple days off, and then take another load back, mm -hmm. and I think I'll, I'll take loads on Mondays and Tuesdays, and then, um... I'll take loads on Fridays. And that way, you know, she can get a few days out of the vehicle and we can explore and have fun, I think. And that'll give her a little bit more quality of life than just having nothing but time off, just her and me just hanging out, doing whatever. But the, uh, the doctor who did the surgery basically told me to say goodbye to her. <laughs> uh, she did it with a lot more class, but man, I'll tell you what. Like, you don't want to say that kind of stuff to a pet owner. Yeah, I get it. But, just being honest with you. Yep. I do appreciate honesty. At least I understand the, the reality of the situation. So I think like five or six days of treatment, I guess. I got to call them and, and schedule for uh, November 2nd. Five or six days of treatment. And um, hopefully that'll be that. And then she'll be super... Well, th then we got to worry about post-radiology treatment and all that other kind of stuff and work with the holistic stuff that all my friends want to do in, in Mexico. They, they honestly believe it's poisoning. I, I, I don't believe this is poison. I mean, it is poison, but I, I don't believe that there is a better way to treat it. I, I don't think I'm just going to give her a whole bunch of marijuana and she's going to be okay. You know, like I'm not that stupid. But I will give her cannabis, like Rick Simpson oil and CBD shit. Like she's, she's getting CBD every day. Twice a day, actually. And uh, I've been taking care of probiotics uh, twice a day. Her diet's change, which makes her gassy, <laughs> which we learned at my birthday party last night. So, uh, it was brutal. 
It was a rough night last night. <laughs> Doing shit. Hell yeah. She's showing off now. She's like, my back itches. You want some scratchy backs? Hmm? Scratchy back babies? Scratchy backs? Oops, wrong way. Oh, yeah, that's good scratchy backs. That's what you were looking for, huh? Okay, inside babies. <laughs>